lines is mainly based on the headlines inspection guiding is clear because web-based processes control systems color measurement coming from the printing industry also monitoring measurements and we go one step beyond this uh, products we do providing solutions solution business integrated solutions as well what does it mean for the uh, for electrode production and cell assembly process mainly our headlines here are in the web process means for web guiding control uh, geometric measurements surface inspection coding control slitting control as well lamination control we do inline quality assurance for pouch round and prismatic cells and today i would like to focus on three production steps on coating calendaring slitting regarding state-of-the-art inspection technology. Here you can see the positions of inspection systems. Typically in the coating line, you see that in the end of the coating, after the dryer, we do inspection top to bottom. In the calendaring, the same. After the process of calendaring, you will have some surface inspection. I put also here another surface inspection in front of the calendar because it might be also you have some defects which could damage the uh, calendar, but also here we have proposals and solutions I'd like to share later with you. And finally, for the slitting, the slitting process, of course, we need also surface inspection after the slitting process. The key requirements are very similar, and if we look for the coating, of course, we need a defect detection of top to bottom, inspection of lane and pattern coating, validation of edge strengthens. Uh, geometric measurements of coating, top to bottom coating alignment, and digital report and flagging of devices, or defect traceability, we call it workflow. The last two items is a must in this industry, also to trace the defects when I have the chance to uh, remove them latest in the assembly process, for example, take out the monocells, which are not, uh, in, uh, not okay. So, if I look to the slitting process, also we need here some geometric measurements to see if the knife position is according to the edge position of the coating. Let's come to the task of um, the surface inspection. And on the left side, we see some typical defects, what occur in the, uh, in the uh, defects on, on uh, lithium battery production. And for this, of course, we need 100% inspection and uh, we need first an intelligent elimination concept. I show you some standard concept, but this also we have behind solutions with multi-channel light uh, where we can see also defects in, in small and uh, different uh, requirement sizes. Smart housing concepts is a very important thing. Uh, of course, we have the possibility to do a discrete line shift camera mounting as you see on the left side. And the lowest footprint you can see on the right side is uh, a solution with a CIS sensor. In the middle, you see a compact housing, what we use in the printing industry, including camera and illumination unit. And this we would like to transfer also soon or later to the lithium battery because it has also some advantages for the future. And uh, last but not least, powerful image processing algorithm, advanced defect classification based on deep learning technologies permits to distinguish defects according to their appearance. Here, we are working very close to together with our partner C1 in Italy. We have our HMI to do the defect visualization. We have our data for, uh, workflow functionalities, uh, as I see on the right side. Uh, here is just a short overview of the difference of the housing dimensions you can see here. I think it's self-speaking from left to right. And uh, I'd like to give you a, a kind of short introduction about the SIS module. Uh, this is, uh, SIS is the shortcut for contact image sensor. And you can see the advantage, I think by yourself, this is the conventional version. You have some line chip cameras, you have an illumination unit. Sensors, SIS sensors are available for integrated illumination unit. Uh, and the difference is if you have a line chip camera, you have one optical system, which is then projecting the image from the uh, web to the uh, chip. And of course, that could have some, will have some uh, optical distortion, which would calculate backwards by software. The difference to SIS sensors is 
for each uh, sys uh, uh, sensor, you have some kind of IC area that means a kind of um, uh, single photo detectors, and each photo detector has its own optical systems. And you can imagine that have an advantage not only in size, also in accuracy. What could you could see on the on the right side, even the, the edge, it could be measured better. That means also measurement could be advantage in this case. Let's go to the um, uh, next step. Uh, I'll give you some overview of coating. What are the um, demands and uh, the uh, functions we need to fulfill in the coating? You see here uh, position one and two is the coating position control. This has nothing to do with surface inspection. Surface inspection is be, will be done in the end of the coating line. This you can see on the, on the right side. So here is the last dryer. You can see here the surface inspection system. Here we use, in that case, SIS sensors, where we can then do the inspection task. And the inspection task are uh, mainly regarding lane coding, uh, single co uh, lanes or uh, multi uh, lane means three or even more. And the challenge is here also to pattern coding measurements, top to bottom as well um, the deviation sidewise, but also in the length direction. These are challenges we need to overcome and we provide. Here's an example. You can see what we do with a 16K camera with a web, web width of 700 millimeters. These are the resolution we can do. But of course, here are also other resolutions possible. And we need to look carefully what are the requirements that we uh, yeah, uh, engineer the system according to your needs and not over, do over engineering in this case. The next step is calendaring. And calendaring, as I said in the beginning, you can do in the first step also some kind of coating, um, sorry, yeah, in, in, in surface inspection in front of the calendar. And if you find some agglomerates or wrinkles, okay, you can lift up the, the cylinder, the calendar drum, uh, to avoid the defects uh, on the drum. Or damages and finally you have to look afterwards uh, if you have some drop off coating or decontamination or fatal damages or pinholes that is a, a typical application in the calendar line as i said in the front this is of course something uh, what could be kind of option but it's possible here coming to my last process uh, this is a slitting process and here I have a slitter. You can see with unwinder. We have two rewinders. We have, we have uh, coil one and three and coil two. Here on position one, we have a frame guide, which is a high position backlash free system. And this is the lowest footprint you can have worldwide. This is the unique system. And this system is controlling the web position in front of the knife. And this will be controlled to the edge of the uh, coating. So the coating edge is the reference. We do measuring this with a line chip sensor CLS Pro 600. Now, what is this? Is the closed loop function? And now, what is the benefit if I have uh, surface inspection? We take the number two, which is now the surface inspection on that position. You can see the middle lane is cut it out. On the left and the right side, you see then the coil number one and three. And if we, for example, see that the width is E, A to B is equal, everything is fine. But what happened if A and B is unequal, as you can see, that means that the position of the, the web is not uh, going in the wrong, uh, in the right position in, in the uh, uh, knife. That means we need to move sideways the, the web, and this information will come from the surface inspection to the control loop of the web guiding system in front of the knife. So after we have then correct this uh, offset, we will have then the right position as shown on the left side. But also cases could happen that C and D could be uneven. That means in this case, uh, the surface inspection will only show, better is to show a yellow lamp that something is wrong with the position of the knife and the operator can decide to run or to finalize the job or even to stop if it's already out of specification. Coming to um, the last item, digital workflow, post-defect removal and traceability. And this is something which is very important um, because uh, 
if you do so, less waste over the entire production you will receive because uh, as only good production is feed into the downstream processes. Easier recycling of valuable materials due to early e ejection and continuous process data acquisition and quality information. This is the base for continuous improvement process. In, in overall, you can say you will increase your overall equipment efficiency. And how does it work? In principle, you have your defect inspection system line scan. We will do the defect visualization on this process. We generate a synchronized role report, so we need, uh, we know exactly on which position we have which defect. And this role report is a digital report what could be verified afterwards from the quality management in terms of which is really a defect or which could be still not a defect and can be used as a other uh, battery uh, cl uh, class, for example. There, each reel will get a kind of personalized uh, QR code, which we will read in for the next process. And here in the calendaring process, I can use also this report to give an information uh, to the drum. That means on position X, we have an agglomerate, please lift off. So uh, in this case, we can also fulfill the function lift off by using digital workflow as one example. And you understand very well, I guess, and the same procedures also for the fizzing process. And then we have three reports. And it will follow then notching as well, then uh, lamination. And afterwards, you have then a stacking process or you have a winding process where you're then separating the material. And this is the, the right moment to kick out the defects before they go in the complete pro production process. So, this is the summary already. Key takeaways for you is cross industry technology transfer. I think we have over 60 years global competence within the web processing industry, what should and we could transfer also to the lithium ion battery industry. I explained something about surface defect inspection, top to bottom, simultaneously inspection of electrode material, but also combined with geometric measurements uh, at the same time, top to bottom in X and Y direction. We can provide low footprint, which is always a big issue in this industry with different sensors, illumination solutions adapted to the uh, application requirement. And here, this is also what I like to stress again, smart link solution. So even surface inspection have all information of geometrics that could be used for the web guiding, which is in front of the process. And we can avoid by that way, quality defects before they occur due closed loop control inspection with web guiding systems. And finally, Digital workflow, total solution from surface and geometric inspection to defect removal. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, you see on my left side the, my contacts or visit our booth. Thank you very much, Klaus, for this really comprehensive overview. So uh, let's get to the questions from the audience. So we have already some incoming. So the first one will be. Um, what are the counter measures or sequence to correct methods when the system detects flaws or failures? Actually, first of all, we generate a, a digital report. It depends on which process. So if we talk about the, the coating process, um, when we de um, uh, identify defects, uh, we cannot stop the, the machine. Of course, if it's a fatal error, when we need to stop the machine, that is, of course, then the, the task. But if we see there are defects, so and that is the, the point, the system has the possibility to clarify, uh, to classify the defects and can take out from there the measures or the operator can take out the measures. But uh, important is the, the rear will get a digital report, what will be used then also for the next process steps. Thank you. So the next question from the audience, um, what experience can the BST group draw on with regard to optical defect detection systems? Um, the BST group is already since beginning of the, the 90s in the first project regarding inspection system, in this case, security print. And um, after that, we, we um, do other print defect, uh, defect inspection system in the middle of 2004, also printing and packaging industry, and also start in the beginning, uh, end of 2000 with surface inspection, which is the logical step here. And uh, we can look backwards of 
the yeah, experience of a long time from the middle of the 90s in terms of performance uh, qu uh, quality and also know-how in surface inspection systems. And we are, let's say, a fan of, we can say, and this is our, also our mission, to use this technology and know-how also across industry, in this case also for lithium battery, to transfer this knowledge there. Mm -hmm. So, one last question. Um, what experience has the BST Group already gained with regard to inline quality assurance systems in electro production? Uh, in general, um, outside of um, this um, surface inspection is one thing, but I think it starts with quality also in times of in terms of web guiding. So each line uh, which is web based, uh, our uh, web guiding system is included there. And if you look to the coating line, for example, you, you can see this also on our booth. It's not just only that we do web guiding. We're looking also what is the pain points in coating, for example, uh, for the operators. And after coating, I've seen already productions in, 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 as well in China, they do the top to bottom measurements by a needle. And we have optical systems which give feedback to the web guiding system so that no one has to touch the system anymore to so just push a button, do coating, and everything is in, we call it in printing industry, in your register, means sight and length. Mm -hmm. So there's another question here. Um, so maybe the last one here. Um, can the optical system identify the, the exact position of defect in very long roll and specify it to remove in the next process? Exactly. This is uh, what I uh, tried to explain in the last uh, slides in digital workflow. So we have um, concepts where, uh, depending on how accurate we need to kick out, for example, the samples. So, for example, if you have a monocell and you need to kick out, let's say, every 10 or 20 centimeters, we must ensure that already in the coating process, the defect images are 100% synchronized in this um, yeah, distances. And that should be then also included in the real report. And the real report, it's a digital report, which will be then go from step to next process step to the next process step, include more and more information, and finally to kick it out. And the target is then also to do it exactly to the right cell. Okay. So thank you very much, Klaus. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much for your efforts. So ladies and gentlemen, get in touch with BST on their booth. They are happy to help you with your questions and uh, yeah, challenge them with your questions. They're happy to answer them. So the next technical lecture will be on 10.35, so in, in about 10 minutes from the, men's, uh, from the company Mans AG with the title from single machines up to turnkey solutions, Mans AG all from a single source. So stay tuned and join us in the next presentation and yeah, see you there. Thank you very much. Thank you.